Insert fair card. Sweet. We're off. Let's do this. Kendall is ready to ride. And here comes the bus. Well, technically, it's the health line. And she's taking it for the very first time. We're just passing up all the cars. Wave goodbye to traffic, Kendall. I'm really impressed with how easy this has been. I can't say enough about it. Right back at you, Kendall. It's easier than you think, Cleveland. Get your personal starter kit today and get ready to ride RTA.com. The National Senior Games plays host to a variety of sports, one of those being table tennis. Also known as ping pong, since 1988, table tennis has been an Olympic sport with several event categories. Table tennis isn't as popular as other sports and it doesn't gain the same amount of coverage, but its athletes are just as competitive and has the same passion for their sport as any other athlete. Could you let us know um, how your experience so far at the Senior Games has been and what events will you be participating in? I'm playing in table tennis singles and table tennis doubles and everything's going real well here. Very nice. Okay, so what bracket are you playing in right now? What age bracket? I'm playing in the 80 to 84. Okay, so table tennis takes a tremendous amount of hand-eye coordination. How do you pra brush up on your skills? We just practice a lot. I, I practice for probably three days a week, all the time. Okay, so how long have you been playing table tennis? I'm 83 years old. I'm trying to think when I started, probably about 15, when I was 15 years old. Okay, so how do you, uh, the skills that you learn from table tennis, how do those transcend to other things? Just about everything. It's hand eye coordination. No matter what you're doing, if you drop something on the floor, it's easier to pick it up. <laughs> okay, so is, is this your first time participating in the Senior Olympics? I've been to, I've been to, uh, I've been to Louisiana, Texas, Virginia Beach, uh, Pittsburgh, uh -huh. and this is why well, I'm here now. We see some hardware hanging around your neck. Could you let us know what you got this medal in? Right, this medal uh, was from yesterday. It was. Um, the men's single over 84, about 25 players, and I had to play seven matches. Uh, I lost the silver medal by a deuce point in the fifth, uh, and the winner I had beaten previously, uh, Dr. Waugh from Tennessee. He came back to win the whole thing at the end. But I, I do have five gold medals in these games starting back in uh, 1987 and a silver and a couple of uh, bronzes uh, and also in doubles uh, a gold and a couple of silvers okay so since you said you have a, you got a lot of hardware at home so talk about the competition of the senior games how has it been over these past years the competition is very good the players are from around the united states and uh, often from other countries like uh, Canada, and I believe there's some, one from Germany and one from other places. They're not all playing table tennis, but they have played in these in the table tennis uh, games. And I, I believe they said there are about 400 table tennis players from around the United States and the various uh, countries at this tournament. So talk about qualifying to be able to play in the senior games. How do you qualify in table tennis? In order to, in order to qualify, you have to uh, play in the state games. In this case, I played in Ohio State games. And if for some reason you can't play in Ohio State games because of sickness or uh, unavailability to play, you could go to another state. And I have done that in the past. I've gone to West Virginia to qualify uh, when uh, I couldn't play here. And I have gone to uh, Lexington, Kentucky to play when I, I had been sick and I couldn't play here, so I went there. So there's reciprocal allowances of playing. And I believe the main headquarters are in Baton Rouge, Louisiana at this time. And um, I have played in, this is my 11th. Okay. For the first 10, I played in every, every match, you might say, or every tournament, all the way from St. Louis to uh, 
Yeah, we'll say Tucson, Arizona, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Syracuse, Pittsburgh, uh, and here, and a few other cities. So with this being the 11th year that you've been participating in the senior games, you plan to keep going and playing it like that? I know next year is in uh, Minnesota. You plan? Uh, yes, well, you have to qualify in the state next year, and then in two years from that, it's in uh, Minnesota. Okay. And uh, those, those cities try very hard to get the games. And I believe in these games, there's over 30,000 people that have come to see the games and over 10,000 athletes of various ages. And those 10,000, uh, I would estimate, are perhaps one-tenth to one-twentieth of all those that have tried to get to these games. So you could have upwards of over 100,000 that may have participated in the state games if it's true the way it has been in the past. So you have to qualify here, and if you qualify, I mean, qualify in the state that you um, live in and then play where the nationals are held. When competitors compete, a champion will prevail. All right, we've just seen an amazing match from you guys where you just took gold. Could you let us know about your experience in this table tennis tournament for the 2013 National Senior Games? Yeah, it's very uh, good uh, tournaments. Uh, I played uh, this uh, tournament for many years, uh, but uh, this one is good. I like it. Yeah, so a lot of fun. Uh, to, a lot of play, uh, experience to, with uh, many people. I got uh, uh, the singles uh, uh, silver, singles but uh, single silver. <laughs> play a lot of uh, game. Yeah, 24 people, we play uh, four events and then uh, um, uh, round robin. Oh. So I play so many, but I like it this way. <laughs> yeah, and then this one's a uh, woman double, so we got the first place. I'm really happy. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Good job. It's a great camaraderie here because we know each other. All the girls, we know each other. We've been playing for many years among each other, so we sort of know each other, but still, it's very thrilling, you know, the adrenaline comes up, and it's really nice, and we are happy, and we are very good to partners together, and we are happy to have a gold again. Okay, so again, I mean, <laughs> we had it before. Okay, so that's another gold medal for you guys. You know, talking about table tennis it's a lot of hand-eye coordination yeah. how does a, the, the practice and where does that come into play it's great. it's great for the seniors especially because you have to be alert you have to be in all the time you have to have a coordination with your eyes with your brain which is very necessary and of course with your hands it's very important and all of us who play it we love it it's just like our we depend on it we almost play like at home at least five times a week. So, yeah, for, oh, you say first. Oh, for, uh, for friendship, healthy. Yeah. Just like big family. Every year we meet each other. So happy. Yeah, so, yeah, so, so, hug, so hug, 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 hug of, uh, yeah, <laughs> nice uh, partner. And then uh, all friends, like a big family. Okay. Yeah, that's, right. that's what I like it. Yeah, so we are, are, are lost. It doesn't matter. Health first, friendship first. Okay. So talk about your experience here in Cleveland for the 2013 National Senior Games. How have that? How has that been? Uh, it's good. A little bit uh, different, but uh, very good. Yeah, I, I like it. Everybody friend, friendly and then good uh, work. So. Uh, a little bit different than the other one, but I like it. Right, I'm here with a bunch of champions. <laughs> we, I, I, we've been discussing your hardware that you have. So just let us know what you've won over the past few years. Well, the doubles championship three times out of the last four tournaments. And this time we only lost one game. We won all of our matches. Uh, two years ago, we won all of our matches. Uh, where they have their round robins and things. We won all of those. 
and my partner, he can tell you a little more than I can about some of his success. Yeah, we were very lucky to be able to compete together. Uh, we're both from Oklahoma, and just, so as you see, we got our Yukon T-shirts on from Yukon, Oklahoma. So it helps a few points. We won a few points by having the same T-shirt on, so that's really good. But yes, we've uh, been very lucky. We also uh, won the uh, Huntsman tournament once in St. George, which the World Senior Games there. So we're very fortunate to, to win that. So we're, we're just a good team. So talk about the competition level here in Cleveland this year. How has that been? It is unbelievable the level of play for fellas in the 75 to 79 class. It's just like you're thinking it's going to fall off when you get older and it just seems to get tougher. Okay. Everybody is good. They know how to play. So talk about the um, dexterity. I know it's a lot of hand-eye coordination that goes in table tennis. Talk about that and then also how often do you practice? Well, I try to practice uh, quite frequently. Uh, I go to the club in Tulsa every week, once or twice. And also I have a table at home where the robot, so I can practice against the robot, okay. which is uh, really always ha helps to get, uh, get me uh, in practice. Uh, but uh, we try to practice and I do some coaching also, so it helps me. So I, I think about table tennis quite a bit. And table tennis is not just a physical game, it's, it's very uh, mental, just like in tennis or other sports. Uh, the obstacle physical and skill side is very important, but the mental side is so important. And uh, the confidence level ebbs and flows. And if you start you know, not believing in yourself, yeah. you lo lose points easily. And that's why it's, it's, it's so we, we, we help each other up. <laughs> so, uh, you know, when one of us is down. Yeah. All right, so it seems like you guys are making a great team. You're getting a lot of gold medals. Uh, just talk about how long you guys been friends and competing together. Uh, as a team, uh, our first tournament together was 2004, and we qualified for nationals. And we went to nationals in uh, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, and we finished fifth yeah, in our yeah. first nationals together. And then we've not lost in the national since. Mm. So uh, we went six years there that we never lost to a team in our age class. Uh, we go to Kansas. We play other teams in other areas. Uh, we've lost matches to some of the younger, faster guys, okay. you know, and, but that helps our game because it helps keep us up where we need to be. Exactly. I know usually, you know, growing up, you know, people usually play with the older guys to get better. And then so now once you're a little older, you play with the younger guys to Keep stay at bait. Right. Okay, so that's how it is. Well, good luck to you guys. Are, are, are your matches done? You yeah, got finished. the gold, so you finish and go home with the gold. That's right. All right, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank All you. Right. Christian Patterson for TV20, We Are Cleveland.